Are you talking to Bubby on FaceTime? What are your plans for today? Cam, Bubby said, what are your plans for today? What are we going to do today? I tell you, I don't know. What do you want to do? Take me out to California. Take me out to California. I feel the day. We took the kids out um, for a little bit, but you guys, it's like 100 degrees outside and so humid and hot, so we're probably not gonna be out here for that long. But I have this little like UV ray cover um, that comes with the bassinet over Quentin, and then I have a little fan right here just so he's getting some, some air. But Camden has been talking about coming to Georgetown now for weeks. We have no idea where he got that from, but he's been talking about Georgetown. So we wanted to just bring him down for a little bit and show him, show him everything. Cam, what do you think of the ducks? Wait to see when the vacation guy comes back. Huh? Yeah. Jump down there and grab one. You want to jump down there and grab one? Georgetown. <laughs> Saying, he's been talking about Georgetown for several weeks, and I don't even know how he heard about Georgetown or anything. And so now we're just bringing him to the next Make a wish. Good job. Yum. Is that a rainbow one, Cam? Is it good? Just got an Amazon Prime package. I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but we're gonna open it and see. Okay, so it is what I thought it was. It is the like faux Gucci belt. Um, Tara Henderson actually ordered this on Amazon the other day and then put it up on her stories and I immediately went and ordered one because I've been wanting like a real Gucci belt like this for so long but I think they're close to 500 bucks and y'all know I am not spending that on a belt at least not at this point in my life um, so when I saw Tara got this she reviewed it and said it's amazing quality it's a really good dupe and I went ahead and bought it and I'm really excited because I have like no cute belts at all. I think I have like one that I rarely even wear, but this will be really cute. Um, even with like little summer dresses or like this fall with sweaters and stuff. Um, and it's cute because you can wear it high waisted too, like around your waist, which is probably what I'm going to do. Okay, so I went to the Third Eye Blind Jimmy E World concert last night. If you followed me on Instagram, you saw my stories and I also posted a picture. Um, it was such an amazing show, you guys. 
if you're able to see them in concert I highly recommend to go see them because it was so good but a ton of you were asking me where I got my shoes and I showed these in a vlog a while ago when I bought them um, I found them at DSW and they're Sam Edelman and I cannot for the life of me find them online to link them I'm gonna I'm gonna look again and if I find them I will link them down below but um, I'm not sure if they're like I don't know from like an old season or something and they don't make them anymore but I just could not find them online um, so definitely go check your DSW store if you have one close to you um, maybe they'll have them in stock okay and while we're on the topic of leopard print which is my new obsession um, I just got this in the mail today you guys I'm so excited to get the new leopard print loopy case I've been wanting one so bad uh, but they're selling out seriously like hotcakes. I'm not even kidding. So if you've been wanting one of their new leopard print loopy cases, go ahead and order it now. Um, use my code LIZA10 for 10% off uh, because this is just like the cutest thing ever. This seriously, guys, is my favorite print that loopy cases ever come out with for sure. Um, and then they give you, you know, a cute little bag to keep it in too. But yeah, adorable. Um, and I also ordered this on Amazon too the other day. I haven't worn it yet. Um, but I know these little things are kind of in style right now, and I wasn't sure if I would like it, but honestly, I put it on my head, and it's really cute. So, it's comfortable. Um, I'll leave a link down below. This was, like, not expensive at all. One more thing I want to show you guys. I feel like I'm showing so many products today. I don't know why. The Amazon Prime sale was the other day, and I went ahead and I bought this Echo Dot. It was, like, 22 bucks. And it was like a really great sale and I've never used Alexa before and I was very hesitant to even buy it because I just I hate buying things that I end up never using it's just such a waste of money um, but the reviews were so good and a lot of you guys I saw were saying that these things are just amazing um, my friend Steph said she has one in like every single room in her house and she uses it for everything and her daughter Lexi who is Cam's age also loves it too and will like have Alexa play like Disney songs and stuff like that which is cute so maybe Cam will actually end up using this too but I haven't set it up or anything yet but I'm excited for it and hopefully I do get a lot of use out of it if you guys have an echo and if you use Alexa leave down below um, like what you love best about it hi little cutie booty hi my little sweetheart he's wearing <laughs> he's wearing Camden's little gap um, zip up hoodie from when Cam was a little baby. You're so cute, my little sweetie. Look at those little eyes. Huh? Are you gonna take a nap? I wanted to update you guys on Quentin's two month doctor's appointment because I took him yesterday and I realized that I haven't told you guys how he's doing with his weight gain and everything like that so you know at his one month appointment he um he had gained like i don't know i want to say a pound and um he was in the 14th percentile for um uh, for weight and i had told you guys that like i didn't know why you know his percentile was so low but the doctor told me not to worry about it and that he's just like a smaller boy like Camden was and um and it's fine um and the fact that he is having lots of poopy diapers and lots of pee diapers and he seems satisfied after he eats and all of that that it's totally fine for his percentile to be lower so anyway um I was super excited to take him in for his two months to see where he was um, with his weight just because he looks so much chunkier to me than he did a month ago like he is really like filling out and he's like I don't know he's like pudgy and like you could just tell like that he's been eating like he looks really healthy so anyway took him in there and they weighed him and he is 10 pounds 5 ounces so he's actually only in the 8th percentile for weight now. So his uh, percentile has dropped, although he has gained weight since his one month. So when the nurse told me that, I was just like, are you serious? Like, she could tell that I was not happy. The nurse was just like, yeah, you know, it looks like it's gone down. And she just didn't make me feel good at all. But then when the doctor came in, she was like, no, 
he's totally fine like the percentile really doesn't mean that much again she said like as long as he seems like he's satisfied after he eats and he's not like fussing and crying after he eats like he's not getting enough milk um and he's pooping and peeing then it's fine and she also said the fact that he sleeps pretty much through the night is another indicator that he is definitely getting enough food and you guys honestly i believe her and i as a mom like i know you know like us moms we just know when our kids are getting enough food and when they're gaining weight and they're healthy and I can just tell that even though Quentin is in the 8th percentile, he is very healthy and he's definitely gaining weight and he's definitely satisfied after he eats because I even said to the doctor, I was like, well, does this mean like I shouldn't be breastfeeding? Like, should I be giving him formula? Should I be like, you know, just exclusively pumping again and bottle feeding him? to make sure he's getting enough and she was like absolutely not she's like you are doing a great job like um she said breastfeeding looks like it's going really well um and he is gaining weight and um so yeah i do feel a lot better about it but i have to admit like when that nurse told me that he was in the eighth percentile i just i almost freaked out anyway i wanted to update you guys about that and um yeah, Quentin is just a smaller guy. Like he was, when he was born, he was 7'4", and now he's 10'5", and I don't know. To me, he just definitely looks healthy. So yeah, that is that, and he's doing really well um, with everything else. She said he looks great. Um, so she did say now that he's two months, she recommends that I take him out of the swaddle. And I was like, no, no, like he's not gonna sleep through the night anymore like i know the swaddle helps him so much to sleep through the night and she just said she recommends it at two months because usually around three months is when they start i guess trying to like roll over more and she wants his hands free for him to be able to do that like if he rolls over she wants him to be able to, be able to have his hands out to like catch himself i guess um because i guess if they roll over and they don't have their hands like it's easier for them to suffocate so um, she said like if I want to swaddle him like just his body but have his arms out like that's totally fine but she just doesn't want him completely swaddled anymore and so I haven't done it yet um, he's still in the swaddle right now because I know that he's not like trying to roll over at this point I googled it and I read a lot about um, when you're transitioning your baby out of the swaddle and this article that I read said that usually um, between I think it was like four to six months is when you should transition them out of the swaddle but my doctor said she recommends it by three months to do it so i'm going to start the process soon um but i wanted to ask you guys when you transitioned your little ones out of the swaddle and if you have any tips for me because the article that i read said that um, they recommend to do it over like 10 days and to like slowly transition them out of the swaddle and since quentin does sleep through the night and that's like part of him sleeping through the night is him being swaddled I really want to like be able to have some kind of like routine I follow so that he's I'm not messing him up completely from sleeping through the night so I ordered the halo sleep sack because I read really good reviews about that and I know their arms are out in that but I think what I'm going to do is start swaddling him with one arm out and the article that I was reading if I can find it again I will link it down below but um, it said to swaddle them with one arm out for like three nights and then swaddle them with both arms out for three nights after that. And then I don't remember. That's all I remember so far. So I'm going to start doing that soon. Um, but I haven't started just yet because I'm just like, oh my gosh, the swaddle is like such a lifesaver. Okay, so I also forgot to mention that at Quentin's appointment, um, he does have a little bit of cradle cap on his head. So I asked the pediatrician what I should do and she said just to put a little bit of oil on his head massage it in with one of these little brushes um, about 15 minutes before I give him a bath and then give him a bath and um, like wash it out so I ordered these things from Amazon and they just came in this is the earth mama baby Ka calendula baby oil um, it says for infant massage dry skin and scalp and it's got no petroleum, parabens, artificial fragrance, any of that stuff. So it had really good reviews. And I like that it's a spray. I think that's super convenient. So I picked this up to use on his cradle cap. And then I got this little brush. So you just put it in between your fingers like this. And then you just kind of like scrub 
their scalp, wherever the cradle cap is. These are really soft, rubbery bristles. And then it's also a little comb too. So um, this was like super cheap. So I will link these below in case your little baby's having the same issue. That's just what my pediatrician recommended. Also, I may have some really exciting news coming up soon. We are seriously considering building our own house. I know I mentioned this in one of my previous vlogs about my moving update. So if you haven't seen my moving update, definitely go watch that. If you want to find out more information on what I'm talking about, we do want to build our own house and we found a piece of land that we are considering buying to build our house. We are going to actually go look at it tomorrow and I don't know, I'm really excited. I will definitely like let you guys know how everything goes after we look at it. That will probably be my next vlog is like updating you guys on like what we thought of the land and like the whole area and everything like that. But we did find a piece of land that we think may be where we're gonna build our house. So I'm really excited. Yeah, just stay tuned for updates on that. Okay guys, so I'm getting ready to go ahead and jump in the shower and call it a night. Um, but thank you all so much for watching this vlog and I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and please leave me tips below on how I need to go about um, transitioning Quentin from the swaddle because I'm nervous. But yeah, that's it for today and I'll see you all next time. Bye. I belong, I belong to you. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want.